Hello everyone, I am Shan and welcome back to another video on Linux. So in this video, we will be learning what is Dev SDA in Linux. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have written a beautiful blog about what is Dev SDA in Linux. The link is in the description box below. Please go and read the whole blog. There is so much information, you will like it. So what is Dev SDA in Linux? So first of all, what is Linux? Linux is an open source Unix type operating system. It was introduced by Linux Torvalds in 1991. And some of the popular Linux distributions are Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Fedora, etc. Before starting the main topic of this video, that is Dev SDA, I'd like to tell you something about files in Linux. So, what is files in Linux? In Linux operating system, each and everything is a file. But there are mainly three types of files that is ordinary files or general files that contains the documents we have like uh, suppose our excel files our word documents our ppts images videos etc so all of these files are ordinary files or general files the next files we have is directory files that contains directory files as well as ordinary files so in windows it is basically the folder so a folder may contain many folders as well as many documents or ordinary files. So in Linux, it is directory files. It may contain directory files as well as ordinary files. And the last files we have is device files. That is basically represents our all the hardware devices like Bluetooth devices, mouse, printers and all of that. I'm going to explain each and everything step by step. So what is dev in Linux? But first of all, what is that slash? Well, this, this is the front slash, okay? This is not the backslash, this is the front slash or slash. So this slash represents the root directory in Linux. So in Linux environment, there is a root. In each and every Linux environment, there is a root. So under root, all of the files are there. So under root, we have the dev directory and this dev directory represents those device files. So here as you can see the device files right here. Now I'm going to show you live okay so right now i am in my current directory and this is the default working directory that i have so to reach to the root directory i have to step back two times from here to here so cd dot dot slash dot dot so now i am in my root directory that is here is the root okay and if i list all the files then we can see here is the device files okay here is the device files and if you want to get updates on Linux just select Linux here and write down your email address and hit the subscribe button so whenever we'll update any post about Linux so we'll be notified now what is dev HDA in Linux well HDA is the master ID or hard disk in your machine Linux takes the first hard disk as a whole hard disk and it represents it by dev HDA so the individual partitions in the disk are HD1, HD2 like this so HD1 represents the first partition on the hard disk and the HDA2 represents the second partition on the hard disk now what is dev HDA in Linux the term SD stands for SCSA disk that means small computer system interface disk so SDA means the first SCSA hard disk like SDA the individual partitions in SDA also named as SDA1, SDA2, SDA3 and so on so SDA1 means the first partition of the first SCSA hard disk so SDA2 means the second partition on the first SCSI hard disk. So how to find those HDA files? So here as you can see we are in the root directory. So we are going to change the directory to dev directory here and if I list all the directory as you can see there are so much files but if I want to list all the SDA files, so I have to do just like ls that is list SDA star and it will list all the files that will start with SDA. There you go. So right now I am going to list all the partitions in my hard disk. So for that I have to write sudo and f disk and l for list. And I have to put my password 
and here go i'd like to point out something that i am using a virtual machine so if you are using virtual machine you also get some result like this but if you are using a dual booted machine with linux then you'll get something like this here we have one tb hard disk but here i am using only 80 gb of hard disk so if you are using a virtual machine you will get something similar to this and if you are using a dual booted machine or only linux you will get something like this so what is this star the star represents the active partition this is the active partition we have and this star represents the status of the hard disk so there are two state that is inactive and active so this is the active partition so here sda1 is the first partition on the first scsi hard disk and like that sda5 represents the fifth partition on the first scsi hard disk so right now i am going to insert a pen drive yeah and let me connect to this virtual machine yeah we are done so as you can see we have only one disk right sda that is the first scsi disk but now i have inserted another removable disk or pen drive so let me just run this command again okay so yeah and hit enter and here we go and as you can see it listed the first scsi disk that is sda as well as it also listed the second scsi disk that is sdb i have inserted a 4 gb pen drive and that is why it is showing 3.7 gigabyte as you can see here sdb1 that means the first partition on the second scsi hard disk and again i am repeating again please understand this concept this one this is sda1 that represents the first partition on the first scsi hard disk this a represents the first hard disk and this b represents the second hard disk and this one is the and this number that is 1 2 5 and 1 this represents the partitions on that hard disk i hope it is clear to you right now and here we can also print the structure of the scsi disk so for that we have to list all the block devices that is list lb sorry list blk block devices so this is the structure of scsi disk as you can see here sdb and sdb1 and these are the first hard disk so this is all about the dev sda in linux i hope you understand the concept about dev sda in linux here as you can see some quick answers of what is dev in linux what is dev sd in linux now what about what is kernel and shell in linux and for that i have written another beautiful blog that is here kernel and shell in linux it is the simplest explanation you will find on the internet so that's all i have right now thanks for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel I make videos about Linux, machine learning, deep learning and some programming stuff. If you like the video, share it with your friends and comment down below which part did you like the most. See you in the next video and till then enjoy Linux.